choices right now. Oh, tr tr oh, there we go. A bunch of cars. Kurt Busch hard in the wall. Mark Martin in the 55. Gets hit by Montoya. And gets Joey Logano was the first car sideways. And it was as a result of contact. So Logano, Bush, Mark Martin all received damage. Perhaps Carl Edwards as he pulls in. We'll have to check on that. There's the Furniture Row Chevrolet. 78 car there is torn up pretty good. Logano got into him coming across. Watch the yellow car of Logano and let's see how this gets started. That's actually Matt Kenseth. I'm sorry. Yes, right. in the 20 yep. car. Yes. Came right down in front of the 78 and uh, made contact. And it's on from there. Uh, that's what happens with these guys when you run in pack. Something happens up the front. You're going to get in it. Looked like Carl Edwards in the 99 there. Montoya got a good bit of damage as well. And yes, it is the 20 of Matt Kenseth. Yeah. Logano used to drive the 20, but his new car is also yeah, yellow, yeah. yellow and red. Watch the yellow car of Kenseth. He comes down just a little bit in front of Kurt Busch in the 78 and just comes really across the nose of the 78. And then uh, yeah. they spin from there. Edwards couldn't avoid getting into the back of Mark Martin. And Kenseth goes for a ride. And look at Montoya just lift up the back of Mark's car as he goes by. Let's go for a ride with Mark Martin in the Aaron's Toyota. Carl Edwards in the 99. Half back to the 42 and 29. Watch the 20. Easy, 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 easy. Stay straight, stay straight. I'll tell you, Kevin Harvick, Harvick threaded the needle and really got through there. Let's have a look at our new uh, Fox cable cam. Not sure. Uh, I, I don't know. I guess Matt thought there was enough room to come down in front of Kurt Busch in the 78 car but uh, the hole just wasn't there. There's the shot. You were wow. just talking about yeah. Kevin Harvick in that 29. He came right through there. Great job. You know, Daryl, you were talking about it. This is the thing that these teams did not need. You look at, see Carl Edwards here. They lost a car in that big crash back in the January test, as well as Kurt Busch in his 78 team. After the unlimited race the other night. Matt oh, gets oh, in trouble. Oh, here we go. Newman's around on here the front bumper of Edwards. Mark Martin gets away. I think Mark may have survived that one. Thank goodness, because that's his third car. Newman was like, sorry, got a little damage. And that was with just five cars in that drafting group. And we see a good bit of sheet metal damage. And that's one to Ryan of, Newman's Chevrolet. That's uh, one of our front, uh, one of our fast qualifiers right there. Yeah, he qualified four. I mean, right there, you would you're right on the verge of being clear. But yeah, that was that was maybe both guys had a little bit of something to do with that one. Looked like Carl's car may have shoved up a tad and. Looked like Ryan was maybe coming down a tad, and they kind of come together. Look at the roof flap, how quick they deployed, and that right there set that car back down, and the roof flaps are much bigger this year. <laughs> it like... Yeah, it, it just something's, something's not lining up for me. Every time I've seen an accident, although three times now I've seen an accident, the driver almost on the outside acts as if he doesn't know the driver on the inside is there. Well, it's what happened on Friday with Matt Kenseth. Right. It's what happened in the Sprint Unlimited with Tony Stewart. Right, there's something not lining up here for me. Way out front. Now, all of these drivers are in a secure qualifier. Oh, oh there no! You go. Hard, one car into the wall, and that's Carl Edwards. Or is that, is it Carl? Wow, Regan Smith gets it? tagged. Denny Hamlin involved. That changes everything. 21 Sprinter. Had that group minded their P's and Q's, they all would be in the Daytona 500. Oh my. And now we're under caution for the first time in the first Budweiser duel. Very, very hard contact with the outside wall for Carl Edwards, who has dropped the window net. And that is a signal to safety workers that he is okay. So we can get a look here and see exactly what happened. There's Carl Edwards. Comes in. Pack around. He kind of pushes up off the bottom there a little bit. Looks pretty good at this point. Oh, Hamlin looks like 
Hamlin got loose first. Not sure why. Have to look at it again. But he definitely got loose and came down into Carl Edwards' right, right rear quarter panel. Let's see if we can get a better look here. Now that's Michael Waltrip alongside Carl. Oh, the 11 just gets, he's just spinning out. He gets loose and starts to spin. Yeah, he got no help from the 21 whatsoever. He just got loose, it looked like. Now, further back was Dale Earnhardt Jr. Back about 12th position. Let's ride along. Get the help here. Use the air off that 22. You'll drive right back by him here. There you go. Boy, keep, coming, keep going, keep going, keep going. Good job, man. Good job. Cost us out. That is a great piece of driving, folks. Didn't panic. <laughs> See there, the 11 just gets around. And Larry, I, when you're really tight off a of two over there, you got a lot of wheel in the thing. And when the, when the front end finally does take a little bit of a bite, the thing will jack, it'll come around with you like that. And Denny Hammond, one of the drivers, his crew, they put four fresh tires on that car under that pit stop. Junior makes it through, and Trevor Bain runs out of room in the 21. And around goes Newman. Newman spins. He got, did he hit the outside wall? No, he saves it. Down to the apron. We stay green. Gordon, Kane, Dillon, Burton on pit road. Hermie, watch what happened to the 39 of Ryan Newman. He's at the back of that pack, back behind Jamie McMurray. Yeah, he looked like he was going to, thought he might going to run over McMurray. Cut back out to the out onto the racetrack, and when he did, he spun the car out. Now he's got a right front tire flat, and he'll just creep around, or he'll tear the whole front end off the car. Ricky Stenhouse, Terry Labonte, too fast exiting pit road. They can pull off synchronized pitting. The caution flag doesn't come out. Oh, look at Brendan trying to go up the There's middle. No room. Here we go. Right as they cross the strike, we have issues. I got, I got time. 77's caught up. Chris Fontaine to the 84. Now the 8 of Max Gresham, the 5 of Tim George Jr. The 93 we saw. Keep rolling if you can. Jason White caught up the 62 of Brendan Gone. There's the There's 77 of Ermain Caroga. 07 of Chris Cockrum involved in this. Chris Fontaine always runs so well here. Paul Brendan Fender, Newberry. yeah. Brendan Newberry. Just wasn't quite enough for him. Looked like Brendan decided to go up through the middle and, and, it, and the hole closed up on him. And we've watched Brendan, Brendan this whole race put himself in a position to go up the middle and he had made it work until then and there just simply wasn't room to make that move coming apart. Look at Brendan just trying to squeeze in that little bit of a hole. And uh, it looked like Brendan didn't didn't know he was there. didn't know he was trying to make it three wide, go up through the middle. And Brendan came down a little bit. And then it's just around. There's a 30 of Ryan Truex Jr. Look at Jason White. Trying to slip and sliding. Is he going to make his way through there? Yes. A yeah, little bit of contact, in. but it looked like he pretty much got through. He's been to pit road. Not a lot of damage. Look at him try to sneak in this little hole. Trying to go there, nowhere to go. Cameraman took off running. Yeah, got squeezed down into the 77 Armand Caroga. Just ran out of room there. There's Brendan, Brendan getting into the 77, turning him right. Watch the Thor Sports trucks. There's Johnny Sauter slipping through. Look at Matt, Matt Crafton, Crafton just sliding through there. So close. And a great job by Jason White, locking it down, getting slowed up. People just slipping out of his way. 33 of John King got in the back of the five of Tim George Jr. That's what turned him around. You see the 60 Dakota Armstrong trying to get a hole here. Looks if he's going to make contact, maybe a slight bit of contact with that South Point Chevrolet. See Timothy Peters just on the bottom of your screen, really slowed down and made his way through this crazy accident. Quite a few trucks caught up in this one. Brings a caution out. Well, there was there was a hole there, but when he, as he closer Close he got it. to it, it got closed up on him. Check it out. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Come on, hustle. Outside. 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 That's fucking good time. And I got to apologize for that. Obviously, the live television, a uh, little bit of emotion. Look at this mess. Yeah. Talking about emotion. 
when you clear those babies, Phil, look in the mirror and see what's back there and you made it out the other end, that's Pick a great deal. Well, I mean, we, we just came off the caution. We just can't got we, off of a caution. Can't we just run a couple of laps, get our, get our wits about us again? Why do we have to start doing all that stuff as soon as the green flag waves? And, you know, they were saved Trucks by... In the middle. He has Miguel Paluto behind him, and around they go. Ryan Truex goes around. I think Ryan Truex had a tire go flat. Yeah, he started, it started smoking there, and he was trying to get out of that pack. See, Ross Chastain, the 19 truck involved. It. We saw the 30. Oh, oh what a Get reason. loose, get wild. The 17 of Timothy Peters involved in this. A lot of damage to the front of that truck. What a restart this is going to be, fellas. The fifth caution comes out at Daytona, closing in on the final laps. And now the strategy will come into play. You see the 30 of Ryan Trucks. He's trying to get out of the way. I think you see that, see left, that rear left tire is flat. flat. John King does a nice job getting by, and then, then it just loses control. Well, you see the tread yep, come off tread the tire down. all the way down. Ryan did an amazing job keeping that thing straight for ever so long, but then finally the tire went all the way away. See the damn. Another look. Ross Chastain just barely got a piece of that. Had a left rear tire go down. I wonder if he was out with someone rubbed into the left side of him. You can see all the damage on that truck, Phil. And when, when there's damage, there could have been something that rubbed that tire and it finally just went down. Yeah, quite possible. Right now that tire is flat. You see him, see him trying to get down to the bottom of the racetrack, but the line is just, uh, just too thick with trucks. What about John King? He did an amazing job slipping by that baby, as did Ryan Sieg. Look at Sieg go by, and there's Agnew. All those guys taking evasive action and making it through. The seven he survives for a fifth place finish. And again, they just took the white flag. The leader took the white flag, and Jeff Agnew in the 27 gets down on the apron, shoots back up the racetrack. Yeah, James Busher got in the back of him, turned him down to the apron. NASCAR, no choice but to throw the caution. You got trucks sliding sideways in the middle of the track. And when you have that situation, you've got to have safety. And the trucks had crossed the start finish line. Kyle Busch, I think, was licking his chops, thinking he had Johnny Sauter right where he wanted him. And the caution flies. And people may ask, well, wait a minute. They were way out right. of the way as that start finish line. But the safety to the has way. to get to these trucks there you go. You as got quickly them. as they can. That's the reason keep the coming, caution keep comes out. Keep coming. Caution's out. Saw the bump. They got the one. And on the inside lane, Elliot Sattler oh, behind Danica Patrick and a car spinning. Scott Legacy Jr. turned out of the pack and somehow. And nobody else get called up. Six cars in the top line here. We'll get you. That seven car looks like he may have gotten a little bit of shove from the 51 of Jeremy Clements. Regan Smith does an incredible job here not to hit anything. Yeah, I thought at first when I saw it that when Sadler pulled in behind the 87 of Nemechek that maybe he just lost the nose of his car, went up and tapped the seven. The car is spinning into the trioval. Joe Nemechek, Reed Sorensen, Kurt Busch. Caution is out. Now, Mike Lynette was there. Mike Wallace came down. Behind it. You got turn, lock it down, lock it down, lock it down, turn to the left. Oh, there it is, contact. Austin Dillon turned into the middle of the pack. Motor straight, motor straight. Keep running, keep rolling, keep rolling here, keep rolling. That's Elliot Sadler that he's pushing, gets him a little bit loose and goes up and clips the left rear of the three of Austin Dillon. Austin Dillon did a good job explaining that one. Motor strike, motor strike. Now that, that lift on the left side is hard. Keep rolling if you can. Keep rolling here. Keep rolling. Well, his hand ended up through the spokes of the street. A lot of damage. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. See, we're at speed right here. You can see the net. Looks like this.
Stewart 33 and contact. Smith turned around. Tommy Stewart is going to win this race. And a terrible crash coming to the finish. And this is a big, big wreck. Kyle Larson's car with the front end severely torn off. down toward turn number one, Montoya, Harvick, a real old apron. all with damage as the caution comes out. 18, uh, just got down on that inside, caught the left rear corner of the five car. That's a real vulnerable spot. Logano and, misses him. And Daryl, that was coming out of that trial where you're running so fast with very little banking to hold you. Stay high, stay in it, stay in it. We got turned in there, guys. Terrible. Hold the break. Hold the break. The Sprint Cup Series champion. Casey Kane comes across. And Keslowski tries to miss it. And gets into Kevin Harvin. Here's the new car. car. Yeah, everybody's just trying to get stopped right here. And everything's going the right way till there. So there's a burnout room. So, uh, now it's guys. One car down, spinning. Trevor Bain up to the wall, collects another. That is Carl Edwards. The fifth wreck that Edwards has been involved in this spring. The 34 of David Reagan involved. Something happened to a car going into turn one as if it just, I don't know who it was. You'll have to take a look at it. David Reagan and David Gilliland. My goodness. Ooh, it looked like possibly. But it looked like they started a courting up in front of Brad Keselowski. The Very team. similar to what we saw at the start of the race. See what happens here. I'll, I looked up. I saw a car in front of him. I couldn't him. tell why. 27's the first car out of line in front of him. Oh. Hold it. Hold it. No caution. Caution is out. And here is Austin Dillon. And David Reagan's not going to make it back. Nor is his teammate, David Gilliland. Larry, that 22 car looks like they uh, they have some kind of fuel issue. They're in the trunk right now. In his teammate, Brad Keselowski. Burton and his cat Chevy have pounded the wall, leaving Scott Speech out on the racetrack. Excuse me, we are still green. I said caution. Yeah. Yeah. And now it's out now on the front page. I knew something was going on. Uh, uh, Mike, I looked down there and there were something broke on that 31 car. Just as he was about to turn it off into the trial. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. That was a hard hit, though. That thing uh, pounded. Oh, the car in the wall, hard. Turn one. And it's one of the BK cars. Three, it's the 93 of Travis Quapple. Let me know no if caution. NASCAR, if the track is clear, they will let them Finish finish. Line of that last lap, back of the pack wreck. No caution thrown on the part of NASCAR. It is their discretion, figuring no Greg serious. Biffle has climbed back in his race car. He's going to go back out in the draft. Now, I spoke to his crew chief, Matt Pusha, and I said, what did you fix? Whoa, he says, well, trouble, trouble on the back. Trouble on the back once again. The All nine the cars. Ambrose goes around, as does the one. Jimmy McMurray, our reigning champion, Brad Keselowski, torn up. Regan Smith in the 51. Both Casey the Pinsky Kane's involved. Cars. 24, we're done. And, and Daryl, I don't know who it was, but somebody changed lines. No, I, I saw him and moving. there wasn't a hole there. I saw him moving back there. Somebody made a move, and there wasn't even more to go. Joey Logano's in it. We're hearing Eric Almarola potentially in this as well. This pack was growing 15 to 16 cars, and most were involved in this. But this is, this is what? This is why? Okay, this is why we haven't been doing a lot of drafting. Uh, this is the fear you have. And why do we have that fear? Because we usually get a reality. It could happen. 
It's always on the mind of the drivers and teams that this potentially could happen. Running at those speeds, just as you mentioned, DW, running at almost 200 miles an hour, inches apart, one person makes one little mistake, and this is the result. What did I tell you when this session started? This going to, they, they get, these guys get a little more comfortable. They get a little bit more aggressive. They start to make a little bit more move. They start trying to be see where the car will fit into, Larry mentioned, tight hole, but we got in there, and this is what you end up with. Darrell, where do we normally, though, see the big wreck at Daytona? <laughs> right there where it happened. Coming on back. Turn two. Yeah, I'm, I'm still writing driver numbers down, and I'm already up to about 10 or 11. Well, I think we said there were 19 cars in that pack, and I got to believe that about 15 of them were damaged. And, and, you know, old car, new car, whatever, that just simply was a misjudgment on some driver's part back there. A lot of damaged vehicles making their way back into the garage. Regan Smith in the 51 makes the hard left turn. You see Jeff Gordon in the 24 team. Yeah, Jeff's pushing got that car in. fluid running out of his car. We saw the five of Casey Kane also sliding through the grass. Marcus Ambrose out of his race car taking a look. Disappointment on the faces of all the drivers as though, although they were elated to be able to go out and run with other cars, this is the result of a mistake. Let's roll it here and see. You're going to see the nine, and here he goes, but right there he gets pushed into by... That's Carl Edwards. Carl Edwards, the 99. 99 car. Yeah. And because Marcus Ambrose was second in line, everyone behind him after that happens either checking up or trying to figure out the line through, and that caught up almost everyone. That was a oh, – can we run that one right there? I think that told us more of a tale right there, what we just saw in that replay. I think Darryl. what I saw was when the 9 started to pull down – the 99 was going to go to the outside and fill the gap, and, uh, and he clipped him as, he get, as it goes by. A tighter view. Wow, look at all these cars. There's the 99. That could have been the 88 that was up there with I Dale Jr. I believe it was. They're, They're all black contact. primers it's, it's for the most tell. part. It's hard to tell. We're going to take another look at that wider view of what took place there on the backstretch. Yeah. Here it is. That is Dale Hearn Yeah, Hart it Jr. is. It is. And you see what happens. The nine started to go to the inside, and Junior, I think, was going to go up the outside, and he clipped him in the right rear there and turned him. Yeah, it was Junior. It couldn't.